Okay, so we have four. Here we have four movie theater popcorn containers, and the price of each is listed beneath. Our goal is to figure out what's the best deal for your dollar, right? Um, so let's find the volume of each of these, right, and compare that to the cost to figure out the best deal. So quickly, I'm going to use the formulas of volume here that we've talked about in past videos. Um, if you're interested, interested in the intuition of these formulas, this video is really an application of those formulas. So um, here, here I would say go back and look at some of the videos to gain some intuition about why these formulas make sense. Anyway, first we have an upside down, right, rectangular or square pyramid. Here's our square right here, 10 by 10. So to find the volume, I take one third of a rectangular prism with the same height. So you can almost imagine that there's this rectangular prism here, right? And our square pyramid's fitting inside of it. There it is. So this, the volume of the of the square pyramid is one third of that prism. So we're gonna take one third of thirty by ten by ten. I'll leave the units out. I'm gonna simplify. Thirty divided by three is ten, right? So ten times ten times ten, and that's well, ten times ten is a hundred. Times ten is a thousand. So this gives us a thousand cubic centimeters, right? For ten dollars. So I'm gonna set up for two dollars. Excuse me. That's my first ratio. Two dollars. Oh, I'll just write two for two dollars, and that's for this shape. Next, we have a cone. Well, the cone is similar in the sense that it is one third of a of a cylinder with the same height and radius, right? So this is my drawing. It's terrible, I'm sure, but picture that the cone's fitting inside. So we take one third, right, of pi r squared h, the volume of the cylinder with the same height and radius. So that's well. The radius is 10, so radius squared is 100, times the height of 30, right, and 1 third over there. I'm going to cancel out the 30 and the 3 as before, right, and 10. So now we have 10 times 100, which is 1,000, right, times pi. Well, here, sorry, here, um, here we have 1,000 times pi cubic centimeters. We're paying a little bit more, but we're getting quite a bit more, right? Just because you see a thousand, 2.5, 250, just because you see a thousand pi doesn't mean this is just a thousand cubic centimeters, it's a thousand times pi. It's about 3,000 cubic centimeters. So, I mean, that's one wonderful thing about a cone. It's got a whole lot more than a, a pyramid of the, same, of the same height and radius. Anyway, keep going here. We have next a cylinder. Here the cylinder, we have a radius of 8, right, and a height of 20, and our formula is pi r squared h. So we square the 8, that's the radius, get 64, times a height of 20, times pi. So I'm going to quickly use my calculator here, I don't want to take too much time. 20 times 64, 1280 times pi. So this is 1280 pi for three dollars and seventy five cents and then last over here we have a rectangular prism and of course that's the length by the width by the height and that's going to be twelve times fifteen times twenty right. twelve times fifteen times twenty we get three thousand six hundred so that's three thousand six hundred cubic centimeters right for three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, um, and here I'm sorry, I should have wrote it here as well. This is cubic centimeters. Now we have these ratios to deal with. So let's line them up, and I think I think we might see some nice things work out. Let me just fix this. Okay, this goes over here. Oh, you know, before I even move them around, let's see if we can rule anything out. Well, the goal is to find out maybe something simple, like how much for each dollar. That would be nice. So I'm gonna instead of having two dollars two fifty, let's reduce each of these to compare them based on a unit rate. So that means based on one single unit or one dollar. So this ratio is the nicest of all. Divide both sides by two, and you and that tells you that for one dollar, right, you get five hundred cubic centimeters of popcorn. That's the rate of this container, right? Here. A little bit trickier, but we'll divide both sides by 2.5, and I'm going to leave it in terms of pi still if I can. So a thousand pi divided by 2.5. You can think of just a thousand 
divided by 2.5, and we'll leave the pi there. That's 400. So that tells me it's 400 pi, right, cubic centimeters for a dollar. I'm just dividing both sides by 2.5. Gives me a nice rate. Now I can compare these two almost, right? And what do you see right away? Well, for a dollar here, it looks like you get less at first because you see the 400, but it's about 400 times 3, or 1,200 cubic centimeters of popcorn for a dollar, whereas here you only get 500 cubic centimeters. And that's just not quite the same thing, right? Not nearly as nice. So this is certainly out. It's not a good deal because this is a better deal. So now we're comparing to this thing. And this ratio, I'm going to divide both sides by the dollar amount again, by 3.75. Because I know that'll tell me $1, right? How much I get for $1? 3.75 divided by 3.75 is just $1. So what's 1280? We have 1280 pi. What's 1280 divided by 3.75? Well, we get 341 and a third, 341 and a third pi cubic centimeters of popcorn, get that in there, for a dollar. So this is still not as good, right? Because 341 and some fraction times pi is going to be less than 400 pi. So this is not as good of a deal as the cone. And here we have our last and our closest, I think, comparison, at least until we divide. So what am I going to divide both sides by? Well, my strategy so far has been to always divide by the dollar amount. So I'll do it again. Divide both sides by 3.5. 3.5 divided by 3.5 is just 1. It's a very nice number. And then 3,600, right? That's what we got before. Just to double check because I can't read my handwriting. Sorry. 20 times 12. This is the volume of the prism. 3,600. That's going to be divided by 3.5. So it's 1,028.57. Well, 1,028.57 about five, what was that? About five, seven cubic centimeters. And in fact, I'm not even worried about the details. Why? Because, well, 400 times pi, three is, pi is over three already. So 400 times three is 1,200, and that's already bigger than this. So the best deal, by far, is this cone of popcorn. You get the most for your money. Thanks a lot.